Good evening, everyone. Welcome to my channel. Listen, as you see, I'm wearing my glasses, so I'm going to get right into the scripture. And then I'm going to take them off so we can talk. All right, so Exodus chapter 12, and I'm going to go the verse 15. I'm sorry, Exodus chapter 12 and 13. And it says, now the blood shall be a sign for you on the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you and the plague shall not be on you to destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt. Again, I'm going to repeat it. Exodus chapter 12 and 13. Now the blood shall be a sign for you on the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be on you to destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt. Exodus chapter 12, you may need to read all of it. I read a portion of it, and this is a part where God was getting ready to strike all the firstborn in the land of Egypt because of the Pharaoh's refusal to let the people go. All the things that were going on during that time. And he refused to take heed to the word of Moses in spite of all the prior warnings, prior warnings. You know, he just kept hardening his heart. And so this is the grand finale now. And God is saying, I'm going to strike all the firstborn in Egypt. And he gave Moses and Aaron instruction to give to the children of Israel. Now, the part that I read to you is basically what God told them to do. Put this on your doorpost. But before that, there are instructions and things that he gave them to do. You know, he gave the instruction to Moses them, and Moses gave it to them. And there were things that they had to do in preparing the lamb. as exact way that they needed to prepare it. Um, consuming it. There's an exact way God wanted them to eat it a certain period of time. There's a time frame they had to eat it. Nothing was to be left over. And if anything was left over, there were specific instructions on what they need to do with the remains. And then the final thing was the blood of that lamb that they use is on the doorpost so that now that he's getting ready to move and do some things, judgment basically is coming upon the land. He's going to pass over them. You see, a lot of times as believers, we want the end result, but we're not looking at all the preparations that's necessary before that. And what is coming to my spirit, guys, is that we're in a time that you need to be preparing for the judgment that's going to be coming in these last days, as well as the evil that's coming upon our nation in these last days, upon the people of God and upon people in general. Don't think that because you're in a nice neighborhood and you're a nice area that you are going to be exempt from anything. What is happening as believers of God, we have got to wake up and get to a place and know this is a time of preparation. Just as the children of Israel had to make these preparations, please take the time to read uh, Exodus chapter 12, all of it, and see everything that they had to do. This is a time of preparation for us for what is to come. This is not to scare you because truly, if you're walking in the things of God, you are going to be kept in the cleft of the rock. There's a lot of you, I did a video before, you feel like, what's going on? You know, nothing's going on in my life. I'm so bored. Oh, oh, everyone's busy. You're being kept in a cleft of a rock. You're being kept in the cleft of the rock. God has his hands around you. He's keeping you hidden for a certain period of time. And he's keeping you hidden in a very wicked world. Don't feel like you just, your life's so boring. You're not getting nothing. Now why everybody seem like they're doing this and this. God is keeping you hidden, child of God, because you're in a very, very wicked world. He's keeping you from the pestilence that walks by night. He's keeping you from all types of different things. But getting back to what I'm saying, you don't need to fear as a child of God. And honestly, as a human being, if you watch the news, and I do too, right? That's why I don't watch too much of it. But if you watch the news, you see what's going on. 
it's very scary. It really is to know this is going on in this world. And sometimes you don't want to take your kids to school. You don't want to go anywhere where there's huge crowds because you never know what's going to go on. But saints of God, this is a time of preparation. Okay. The preparation is that God is getting ready to bring his judgment down on the nation on the world, there is, uh, there's some things that's getting ready to come. And right now there are a lot of believers that's sleeping. There's a lot of believers that's thinking, you know, listen, it's kind of like right now saints are the ones, the people like us that's talking about things like this. Everybody else probably be looking at us like, really? Right? Because technically you're building an ark. You're building an ark, right? And that you know the the prophecy speaking these words the warning the videos this will be metaphorically what i'll say is the ark and when you're doing that people are looking at you like what's her deal what's his deal it's not that serious because they're living their life they're eating they're drinking they're being married um, many some are christians they feel like listen i'm good this is all i need to do you're doing too much right? Until that time comes, right? So what you have to realize, you know, something with Noah, the story of Noah and the ark that's been highly misquoted was that he was warning people and telling people to come on in. That's not true. There was a decision that was made by God that this is the only family that I am going to save. I've been getting that wrong too. I thought Moses was warning the people and telling the people and they were just laughing. But if you truly read in Genesis, correct me if I'm wrong, if there's something I've missed, I don't think I have because I've read all of it and now I'm in Judges. I see nothing that's changed that. God wasn't saving nobody. You see, what happened is I'm sure prior to that, because what he what grieved the Lord was that that man was doing everything imaginable in his heart to do every evil thing. So I'm sure he had been talking to them and warning them and doing all these different things and they just wouldn't listen. So God made a decision that I'm going to destroy everything on this earth, but the only family that I'm going to save is going to be Noah and his household because he's the only one that is living right. So guys, we're getting to this time where God is right now these videos, the things that we're doing, you're going out, you're witnessing, we're telling people about the Lord. These are the times that, listen, God, God is giving people, a uh, giving people a chance. He's giving them warnings, but there's going to come a time saints of God that you're going to have to get in a shelter. You're going to have to get into this place that God is putting you in. And this is a time of preparation. The time, how do you prepare seeking the Lord? How do you seek the Lord? I told you by praying the same way you seek after somebody you like, the same way you seek after your husband or your wife, your children. It's just making yourself available. You think about them. So in prayer, in the word of God, in worship, in seeking him, in fasting, fasting is a big thing these days, right? The, in these last days, fasting is very imperative so that you are in tune with the spirit of the Lord to know exactly what he wants you to do. You understand? So this is a time of preparation, guys, a time of preparation. Consider this time of prayer and fasting, this time that you're getting in the presence of the Lord, you're denying your flesh, the time that you're, you're pulling yourself away from the world. Consider it as... Um, as a figure of speech, metaphorically, like you're building that ark because there's going to come a time just like here in Exodus chapter 12, that something is getting ready to happen and you're going to have to be covered. That blood is going to have to be shown that, Hey, this person is covered. These are the ones that has prepared for this time so that when the judgment falls out, when the darkness of this world and the craziness really start to hit rock bottom and start going on there, that you and your household is covered because you've been preparing and being obedient to the Lord. It's the same thing with Noah and the ark. He did what he needed to do. Everybody was doing what they wanted to do. They probably thought he was crazy for building that, but he got a word from God and he prepared and he 
built this big old art that everybody looked at and thought he's a nutcase. But at the end, God said, it's time to go in and shut the door. There was no warning. There was nothing to tell the people, come on in. No, they've been getting the warnings. They've been getting stuff before, but they kept ignoring God and doing what they want to do. So the Lord decided, these are the people that I've selected that I will keep, that I will preserve during the time of destruction. And that's basically what's going on, guys. Don't, this is not the time to be, you know, trying to get into stuff, trying to get distracted with the world. There's so much technology. There's so much to do. There's so much dating apps. There's all these things to keep you distracted. But saints of God, I'm trying to tell you, this is a time to get prepared. This is a time to get into the presence of the Lord. This is a time to seek his face. This is a time to be deliberate in your prayer. Don't just get there. You praying. What does God specifically want you to pray about? This is a time that you got to realize, okay, I've been watching a little bit of television right now. I need to turn it off and I need to go in there and pray. I I need to be reading my word. I need to be seeing what God wants me to do. How specifically do I need to pray for my children and my household for the future, for whoever? You understand that? Listen, the blood was on the doorpost and the hand of God passed over them and did not kill them. Those who had the blood but there was a preparation that was done before that. They didn't just go slap some blood on the door. There were things they had to do. So guys, this is a time of preparation for the thing that is to come. Things that are heading our way. The judgment of God is going to come. There's going to be a lot of evil and things that's happening that you're seeing it. And you need to be in this place, guys, that you are hearing from God so that your household and your family, you don't need to worry about all the craziness that's going on around you because you are covered under the blood and should we have to face anything that you are so filled with God's spirit that you won't be afraid and you won't bow down but you will stand boldly and speak God's word and do the things of God and be empowered by his spirit all right guys listen run to the Lord get your ark ready because a lot is coming all right, guys, let me go. Don't forget to like, to share, and to subscribe. I have my email in the description box should you have any questions. Bye.